For most states, the candidate that wins the majority vote in a state gets all of its electoral votes. In Maine and Nebraska, the votes are tallied by congressional district. Each state has allocated a certain number of electors for a current total of 538, which makes up the Electoral College. On the Monday after the second Wednesday in December, electors convene in their states to cast their votes for the president and vice president. But sometimes electors who are bound to vote for a presidential candidate will choose not to do so. Called faithless electors, these members either pick a different candidate or abstain from voting altogether. To prevent this from happening, 29 states plus the District of Columbia legally bind their electors to their pledged vote under threat of a misdemeanor charge or a fine. Faithless electors rarely alter the outcome of the electoral vote, except for one instance in 1836, when 23 Virginia electors abstained in voting for the vice presidential nominee. In the event of a deadlock or if no candidate gets the absolute majority of votes, a contingent election is held where the presidency is decided by the House of Representatives and the vice presidency by the Senate.